Okay, so I have taken a couple of days off break from soap. I am planning to return tonight. I'm planning on having another episode of soap up later this evening. Um, my problem is that I've been I've been struggling a lot this week with my mental health. Some of is because of what happened with um, my brother's obituary, but. Unfortunately, my talking about what happened with my brother's birthday caused other YouTubers to wake up and start harassing me again. So it's just, it's, it's just been a whole thing. It, it's never going to end and it's frustrating. It's, it's frustrating because the only reason they're allowed to do this is because I don't have the money to stop them. If I had the money for a lawsuit, it would stop because it's clear defamation. You can't just say somebody is a murderer and show no evidence. Like the evidence they have that I committed murder is transcripts of a trial for somebody else's crime. A trial where I am listed as a witness, not a trial that I was in, not one where they put me in handcuffs. I was never arrested. Like, that's the thing. They keep saying w they proved that I murdered somebody. I was never arrested. I never spent a night in jail. I was never interrogated. I spoke freely to the police because I went to them to turn the criminal in. So it's, it's ridiculous to me that this man can stand, can, can, you know, use his platform sit on his platform and say, we proved that you committed murder. No, sir, you did not. You are not a jury. You are not a judge. You are not a detective. You did not get me arrested. You did not get me interrogated. As a matter of fact, they have been doing this since 2020 and the police have not yet contacted me. Four years that they have been claiming I murdered somebody and they could prove it and the police have not spoken to me a single time. Why do you think that is? It's almost like you haven't proven anything and you saying it over and over and over again is not proof that it happened. It's just your opinion. It's your theory, but it's not reality or I would be in jail. It's not reality or I would be speaking to police. I would be in a lot of trouble. Do you understand how much motherfucking trouble I would be in if you literally proved I murdered somebody? And you can sit back and say that you, you've seen the transcripts, you've gone over the transcripts, okay. That was for Kenneth McBride. <laughs> you can twist the names around all you want, but you're not going to find a criminal record for me because I'm not a criminal. I didn't commit those crimes. And if YouTubers, right... Let's just put this into perspective. If a YouTuber had proven that another YouTuber committed murder, don't you think that somebody else would have picked that story up by now? In the four years that you've claimed this, and it's been a full year almost that they've gone over those, those transcripts, those so-called damning records, which were never even about me because it was a crime somebody else committed and is in prison for. If you really had proved it, why is it that Philip DeFranco never picked up the story? Atozi never picked up the story. Marky never picked up the story. Like none of these actual um, YouTube news people that give internet type stories. And that's a big, that's a huge story. Are you telling me none of them in, are interested in a murder that has gone, I, no, you're lying. You are blatantly lying and you know that you're lying. And the only reason that I can't do anything is because I'm poor. That's a clear defamation lawsuit. If I had the money for defamation lawsuits, but because I don't, they're going to continue saying this and saying this and saying this and proving nothing. It's frustrating, but all I can do is survive it the way I have survived every other 
hurdle that I've had to deal with in my life. And one day people will see that no matter how many times they say it, they're not showing actual evidence. They're not showing anything that said, I was arrested for this. I was tried for this. I was put in jail for this. And I'm currently sitting in prison on uh, and nothing, nothing. You go through my, my, my criminal record and you're going to find a single petty theft from where the police tried to set me up for a drug deal for marijuana, mind you, in Florida. And I stole the police's money of $60. And they came and picked me up a week later and said, oh, you stole police resources and that's petty theft. That's the only thing on my criminal record because the only problem I've ever had was mild drug use and serious mental health conditions. You are lying when you say you have proven that I murdered somebody. If you have proven it, show the court records. Show where I was arrested, not where Kenneth McBride was arrested. That's not me. I am not Kenneth McBride. I am not a man sitting in prison right now for this crime. So if you're going to go over those court documents, make sure you get the names right. <laughs> because I am not Kenneth. And I am not responsible for his crime. 